Guess where I just went? I went to Trader Joe's. No shock there. Um, but I did spend $160.36. I got a bunch of the new items. So we're gonna sample and review those. Please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out so, 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 so much. Um, so yeah, let's jump in. I'm really excited to try some of this stuff. I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List, and I have to tell you that I ate half this bag on the way home from Trader Joe's, because I am so, so, so hungry. So hungry. Sometimes I do my hauls before I have any lunch, and let me just say how hangry I get when someone else is eating their lunch in front of me, and I'm not eating. So anyways, I ate half this bag of spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds, which if you have not tried these, they're actually delicious. Seasoned rice and pea snacks. I like them because it's a snack, but you're getting some protein. Seven grams of protein per serving. They're gluten-free and they're vegan. They look like this. And they are vegan. They're not, there's no pork in these. They're vegan. They're light, airy, crunchy. And they have a little bit of seasoning, like almost like a barbecue chips flavor. No, I really like those. And you may notice there are two really happy plants in front of me. These are these really cute, happy ferns. And I am obsessed with any plant that like, or a, a, any vase or pot that understands that plants become the hair of the head. So like, I am obsessed with this. So I bought one for the bathroom and then I got one for the other bathroom. And I'm gonna just put happy plants all over the house. You guys know I like smiley things. That's why I have my smiley pat the spatula. That's why I've got these things because I like things that have smiles on them. There's a lot of white space. Everything needs a smile. Speaking of smiling, keep your bum happy. Get the super soft bath tissue. I don't know why they even sell single ply because super soft bath tissue two ply is the only toilet paper you should be buying. One ply, no one likes one ply because then you have to double it up and then you're making it two ply. Uh, I can't really show you guys how to use this just yet because I just bought it, but this is cleansing condition cleansing and conditioning hair wash. So I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna use this stuff every day. But what I like this shampoo for right out of the gate, sulfate, silicone, detergent, and paraben free, so it's non-foaming. So if you're a girl, we all probably wash our hair once to twice a week. There's on rare occasions, some people wash their hair all the time, which I don't do that because my hair tends to be healthier if I wash it one to two times a week, but let me tell you, if you use a cleansing and conditioning hair wash that's pretty neutral, it'll help strip off any buildup you have. So even your really nice shampoos and conditioners, you do need to strip your hair every once in a while. So that way you start on a clean palette. Because if you use the same shampoo, there is buildup, there, there is. And if you switch to one of these, just rotate it in like once a month, once every couple weeks, you will love it. That's my spiel on that. But that, I found that helps my hair a lot, like today, I'm probably I'm like, I probably need to wash my hair like tomorrow or the next day, but I just dry shampoo it all the time. So it's good to strip your hair every once in a while using a shampoo that you typically don't use. And this one looks good because it's pretty clean, it's non-foaming, and the price was amazing on this. I think it was like $4.99, and it's a lot. There was like a lot in there. Okay, um, sourdough bread. This is Simon's sourdough bread. He likes a pre-cut bread. There's like an artisanal looking sourdough bread in Trader Joe's and I asked why he didn't want that one. It's like one he'd have to cut himself. And he said because it goes bad too quick. And apparently this one doesn't go bad as quick. I also think he appreciates the even cuts. I do too because if he had to cut the bread in the house there would just be crumbs perpetually everywhere. So this at least keeps the crumbs a little bit less. I just think it's a guy thing. I don't think they see crumbs on counters. I, I see them everywhere, everywhere. But anyways, gluten-free tortillas made with quinoa flour. These are yummy, but you have to heat them up. If they're cold, not as good. Heat them up, pretty solid. You can make a wrap with them. You can, what else can you do? Make a wrap, a, a taco, a burrito, I love them. Um, organic raw honey. It's good to have this. We go, we go through this honey so fast. We put it in teas. Simon sometimes puts it in his coffee, which I wasn't aware of until this morning, but I could see how that could be good. <clears throat> Eggs. There was an egg shortage at this Trader Joe's. There was like literally two boxes left, and one of them had a cracked egg, so we got this one. Uh, and then I just went there in my head being like, where did all the eggs go? And I was thinking about like, what if the truck had an incident and there's eggs all over a highway? 
I don't know, a lot of thoughts. Ooh, I'm excited to do this. Okay, so I'll go through my Thrive Box, which I got, um, it's sitting over in the corner, you can't see it, but I've been getting these, they're, they're gluten-free pretzel sticks and they're amazing, they're made with chickpea flour. I wish Trader Joe's carried them. But the other day I was like, ooh, I wanna dip them in like a cheese dip. So let me go grab them. Let me grab. <laughs> The bag is like so sad, it's almost all gone. So these are these are from Thrive Market. I Trader Joe's, if you're listening, please make a chickpea flour pretzel stick. But I wanted to dip it in cheese, like I, I wanted to have that sensation. But I got the pub cheese, which I've never tried in recent years. And there's three different types of pub cheeses. They've got one with horseradish, jalapeno, and just a sharp cheddar. And it's like Really, I feel like it's going to be a lighter, more spreadable cheese. I went with horseradish because I like, oh, and it opens easily. That's one of those things in life you don't appreciate until you try to open Trader Joe's hummus and you can't get it off. If you guys have been there, you know what I'm talking about. So this is the horseradish cheese, uh, pub cheese. It's, it, it like, it's very, it's light and fluffy. Like it's a light cheese. It's not dense and heavy. Mmm, it's really, really good. That's actually very good. With a pretzel stick, oh my. Um, 10 servings in here, two tablespoons, 70 calories. I really like that. You wanna try this? Mm hmm Sorry, Simon wants to try this. Yeah, let me just climb through all the crumbs. He's climbing through his mountain of crumbs. All right, that is good. Wow, that's really good. I only have a few of those left. Get the other pretzels out that are, you can eat the other ones. The pretzel right. slims, they're in the pantry. Um, he always tries to eat my gluten-free stuff and I'm like, I am limited here. <laughs> Don't have a lot of gluten-free stuff. But this is really good. Puff cheese for the win. Now I wanna try the other flavors. I wonder if it's gonna make me break out though because cheese typically will like aggravate my skin. But sometimes it's just worth it. Picked up cookies, these things are, what am I for? So good. It's like a black bag that says pretzel slims. Just work yourself back there, you'll find it. I dream of a bigger pantry one day. I'm just putting that out into the universe. Like, I want one of those big pantries where you can just organize everything, like on the home edit. I would love it. I don't believe this is a new item, but I haven't seen it. It's called Cod Provencal with ratatouille and rice. I don't love the like the marketing package they put this in. I don't think it's like the cutest, but I, the ingredients looked really good. It's just cod, there's brown rice, some wild rice, tomato puree, fried zucchini, fennel, fried eggplant, there's water. I mean, just like all of the ingredients just looked really, really good. And it's $3.99 and 370 calories in the whole thing. You're getting 23 grams of protein. The sodium, 540 milligrams, which is not that high for a lot of the frozen stuff at Trader Joe's. So I, I got two because I thought there's going to be that night in the future where I'm not going to want to make dinner. I'm just going to be like, oh yeah, let's do the cod proven salt. And it'll sound fancy. Very fancy. This isn't new, the everything in the elote Greek style yogurt dip. But I haven't seen it in a while or I just have like glanced over it. So I'm going to sample that. Um, okay, we're gonna put that down. We're gonna come back to the everything in the Aloki dip. This is new, I actually got this yesterday and I posted a reel. It is the hot cocoa inspired cream cheese spread. Whoa, this stuff is so good. If you wanna see it, I'll put a link to my reel right here um, or you can just go check it out on my Instagram page. But this stuff, oh my gosh, it tastes like almost like a milk chocolate. It's like, it's like a chocolate cream cheese or sorry, chocolate cheesecake. It's just like light, really nice cheese flavor. It would be good. I put it on the, um, the rice thins of chocolate on half of it. So good. You could put this on a bagel, just a spoon, <clears throat> toast, um, it, anything. Anything goes with this stuff. It is so good. If you like chocolate, huge fan, huge fan. Heart. This is um, for Valentine's Day. And it has like, it's a Trader Joe's handcrafted felted wool reef. And there's like a to and a from on it, so you can put who it's from. Like you can gift a heart to someone. It is a little pricey. This is $19.99. Um, but you can't put a price on a heart. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Where are you gonna put it? 
Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, the, these are another new item. Uh, maple pancake flavored puffs. Simon, you're probably going to want to try these. Uh, they've got corn and rice. Um, let's just say the ingredients aren't the cleanest, but that means they're probably going to taste good. I hope they smell like maple. Okay. Oh, wow. It smells like cinnamon toast crunch, like the cereal, mm. which I used to love when I was little. They kind of look like mini churros as well. Oh, they're like, you put them in your mouth, they kind of just dissolve. There's like a, a crunch, and then it just like deflates full of delicious flavor in your mouth. Mmm. It's a bit weird though. I, I think associate, they're good. I associate that texture with it's, cheese or something. It's kind of like a churro. You had a churro? Like a light, fluffy churro? I think these are so good. If you had like a cup of hot chocolate, and you're, you're watching Severance or something on TV, you could just... It's very specific. I love that show, and I'm patiently waiting another season. So good. I'm a fan. Combining the delicate, airy, oh-so-crunchable texture of a crispy corn and rice puff with the rich, sweet, and salty flavors of a syrup-covered flapjack stack, these maple pancake-flavored puffs must be tasted to be believed. Exactly what I was going to say. You said you didn't want them. I need to try a few more. There is Heritage Flakes. Simon seems to be a fan of this cereal. Um, my lettuce department this week, I got butter lettuce and the Organic Baby Spring Mix Blend. Both of these tend to last well in the fridge. They don't go bad, which I appreciate. It goes faster the more you eat. Oh, these are back. Gummy X's and O's. Another thing for Valentine's Day. How could anyone resist your sweet charms? They're kind of like this, the like lover Scandinavian fish. I'm gonna have an O. An O. You're gonna have an O. You can have an O. Yeah. Mmm. As far as gummy texture goes, these are really, really good. Perfectly textured, very berry flavor, like a strawberry. Mm. If you've got a mouthful of maple pancake puffs, I don't recommend having them. Mm. And yours always, Trader Joe. I've always wondered how he signs off, Trader Joe. That's weird. It's not Trader Joe's. They put an apostrophe on the stores, but not as a love note. Wow, those are really good. I don't know what carrot, carnacuba, carnacuba, carnacuba wax, <laughs> wax is, but tastes good. Okay, now we can revisit the everything in the elote Greek style yogurt dip. I picked up some of the cauliflower crisp snacks. These crackers, I used to get a lot, but. Um, they're just like a tiny bag. So here we go. Everything and the elote Greek style yogurt dip. Oh, just love it when the wrappers come off easy. So we're gonna try it. This is what it looks like. It's like light orange with some texture. I'm sure it's good. It's got cream cheese, corn, elote seasoning. I bet it's gonna taste like a cream cheesy ranch. Let's see if I'm right. Mmm. It has more of like a sour cream and chai flavor, in my opinion. Mmm. It's got chipotle powder, chili powder. Okay. Yeah, so I'd say it's more of like a, it's definitely a really good dip. You could probably heat this up too and maybe get some of the like, They've got the frozen corn ribs. You could get those and like roast them and break them up on top. Make like a fun little dip when you're watching football on the weekend. Okay, um, corn elote seasoning and grated cheese. Another another good one if you like elote. My favorite so far between the two is this pub cheese, which I'm going to revisit right now just so I don't croak over because I'm so hungry. Mmm. 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 Mm. I also picked up the unexpected cheddar cheese spread because I wanted to compare it to the pub cheese. 
This weighs about three times as much as this one, even though this is smaller. Mm -mm -mm. This will go bad if you leave it in your fridge and don't open it because I did that. And it was a sad moment the other day when I wanted to experience this. Cheddar cheese spread, okay. I think we all must like collectively really like spreadable cheese because Trader Joe's has a ton of spreadable cheeses. Or who's ever making the spreadable cheese decision at Trader Joe's has a lot of weight. Mmm. This is just a lot more tangier, it's a bit denser. So when you scoop it or whatever you brush into it, it's good. Um, I don't know which one I would, this one just looks worse for you, so I kind of like that one better. <laughs> so it's got more of an artificial yellow color. But I don't think, um, let's see what it's colored with. Apocaronetanol color. I don't know what, what that is, but it tastes really good. Um, okay, Asian style vegetable stir fry. This is great, again, if you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking. A little bit of olive oil, toss this in, you can put some rice in with it. It's super, super yummy. I like it. Um, and then this is the grilled balsamic vinegar rosemary chicken breast. Um, I did a takeover with Callie Golickson from Peloton, and this is one of her favorites, and she's right. Simon bought this once, and then I tried it, and I loved it. And so when she said she loved it, Callie said she loved it, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So this is a good one. One time we did, you wouldn't think the balsamic with the stir fry would go well together, but like, it's actually really, really, really yummy. Uh, dog treats, boom pot pie, like better than the leftovers, assorted flavors dog treats. These used to be a lot bigger and now they're much smaller. We will come, let's see, if Boo wants to try this. Boo just got a grooming yesterday, so he's freshly groomed. One it, treat, oh, okay, we'll try one more. I know it's hard when you're up here, it's nervous. Don't be nervous. Good boy. He likes it. This means he likes it. Boo is a Maltese Yorkie. They're called Morkies. And he is turning 12 in March. He's my best friend. <laughs> um, I got some Go Macro Bars. These are great for the golf course. We're out there golfing and I get hungry. So good. Fun fact, if you decide you want to get into golf, you will learn that it is not like when you do like nine holes, you get to eat at the little, sometimes they call it a halfway house, which it's not what it is, but that's what they call it because it's halfway through the course. It's like hot dogs, fried food, like beers. There's like nothing healthy. So that's why I'll take like a bar or my dried fruit. Cause I'm like, you guys are crazy. Um, and then plates and strawberry cereal. This is brand new. Uh, this is for a Simon. Uh, sweetened with wheat, rice flakes with real strawberries. That's, I'm curious. We're just taking it out of the bag. It looks like Frosted Flakes, and they've got the freeze-dried strawberries in it, so you can kind of see that. And then at the bottom, there's a lot of freeze-dried strawberry dust. You know, smell it. Mmm. Oh, just pure sugar. So good. How much sugar is in this? Um, 11 grams of sugar, 10 of those are added, and one and a quarter cup. Oh. I didn't know it was like frosted flakes. Yeah, it's like frosted. You have to eat it now. No. Can you do returns at Trader Joe's? You actually can. You can? Yeah, you can accept that. After you tasted it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, Trader Joe's. I thought we didn't like frosted flakes. Um, so all of this was, I think, oh, let me show you one other thing. My, my goodness. Gerber daisies are back. And these are some of my favorite flowers. One, because I'm like a little flower lazy. All you have to do is just trim the bottoms and pop them in water. But they're also just beautiful because they're river daisy. So I picked those up. That's my flower game this week. Yeah, so all this was like 160 bucks. Um, it's fun trying the new things for you guys. And I'm really excited about my fern plants. And that heart is cute, this one. Sorry, the fern's blocking it, you can't see it. Um, it's cute. I don't know, you could use that as a centerpiece too. Like you could put the heart, do like a cheese situation in it or like a candle or candles. But anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's haul. Keep an eye out, there are more new items, just they haven't landed in my store yet. So as I as they come in, I will 
go get them, sample them for you. But check my page. My Instagram page has a lot of um, reels with the new items and then my stories. I just try to feature as much stuff as I can for you all to make your shopping experience as fun as mine. But thanks. I'll see you guys next week.